The fourth and final test involves an unwanted car improvement, the classic instant convertible. I've seen this crash a million times on TV shows and movies. Car chase is happening, semi-truck comes across the intersection at just the wrong time, the car's about to careen into it, but everybody ducks. They get back up after the car's gone out the other side, and now they're in a convertible. So once again, what we're looking for is does it look like it does in the movies? Stop, stop. A clean slice all the way across. And second, is the car drivable? Could they continue the chase? A little more. If neither of those things is working, then it's busted. Park it. And with everyone, get in it. All right, Including an unfortunate buster in position, the final filmic fender bender can get underway. 10, 20, 30, 50 miles an hour, 60, and 70. What's on the other side of that berm? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, indeed. The remote braking system fitted for each test seems to have failed. Oh, oh, my, oh God. my God. Dang, that was crazy. Look at the roof. The roof's underneath the truck. I know, it, it turned into a convertible. Ah! I can't believe it jumped the berm. And if we slow down the shot, you can see the car launch up the dirt bank and into the wild blue yonder. But luckily, there was no one to hurt and nothing to damage back there. Oh, my God! Oh, that wow. is a convertible! It worked! And with the relief comes the results. Oh, my, oh my God! Dude, it ripped the roof right off. I got to say, that's pretty good. It looked like it kept driving and it turned into an instant convertible. And he looks like he's all right down in there. Any doubt is dispelled with a look at the footage. They did indeed have an instant convertible. And for an instant, it appeared to be drivable, at least judging by the speed it was going. Plausible. 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 Now, how the hell are we going to get this car out of here? You just throw it back over the fence. <laughs>